Welcome back. We're now here with our sixth feature match for round six here at YCS London 2023. We have Joseph Rothschild versus Philip Gastberger, and this is going to be a good one. So I'm going to hand you guys over to Alberto, Nadia and Marcello, who are going to be your commentators for our round six feature match here at YCS London. Gentlemen, take it away. Yeah, Joseph Rothschild here brought uh, heroes. Do you know who Joseph is? I've never heard of him much. No, I'm not sure who that is. Yeah. <laughs> so you brought uh, all the way over from the North American continent itself the uh, the deck of your choice, I suppose, which is iconically Hero. Any particular reason you've decided to roll up with this? Uh, yeah, well, um, uh, I figured that for an American coming to Europe, it would be best if I could showcase the best deck in the room. So of course, after deciding not to play Cash Tira or Labyrinth or Sprite, I went with Hero, which is, you know, it's up there, I would say. So Joseph's going to start us off here with the Hero strategy. Very important dice roll, and I think if you uh, were to go first against any deck, Man, you really want to go first against a deck like Runic using heroes. Joseph, you were just telling me before we came on camera, this is your first YCS in the UK. You had a feature match and now you're 5-1. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very good. I mean, any day I get to normal summon Stratos is fantastic. A hero lives is truly my blood. Uh, but I'm very happy that uh, I was able to perform, um, and I'm very happy that I got to show off the list. Unbelievable. Yeah. We're normal exactly. summoning Stratos. Yeah. <laughs> This card's unbelievable, and now is a critical piece of the combo. It gives you the flexibility to go into incredibly powerful negators like Destiny Hero Plasma, or ways to turn off your opponent's power spells in Destiny Hero Dark Angel. Because you need three exactly to get... Uh, no, I, okay, no. It seems as if it was a Link Summon, but he used the Enforcer to ah, just okay. pop itself in the Link. Makes more sense. Right, right. Because you need three to activate the Dark Angel, mm -hmm. and now the lock is in play. So game one, we had the Dark Angel from you. And there was a moment where Philip forgot about Dark Angel's effect and tried to activate the spell, but managed to link that away into the Donner. You built a really great field with the Phoenix Enforcer, the Cross Crusader, Plasma, Sunrise to Surge, Miracle Fusion, Wake Up. And here we see Miracle Fusion One, coming two, down. Two, three, three, four, five, yeah, that, that's what's five, coming. six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, oh, wow. ten, <laughs> eleven. <laughs> 11 Crazy. vanishes from Miracle Fusion. Wow. Tell us a little bit about how you've decided to approach this meta. Sure, uh, I'll talk real quick about the fusions first. Both Wake Up Your Elemental Hero and Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer are incredible going first or second. Cards like Wake Up Your Elemental Hero aren't just warrior summoners, they're OTK enablers. That's because Wake Up Your Elemental Hero gets additional attacks based on the fusion monsters that you use for its fusion summon. Because of the new card released in Maze of Memories, you can always do it, guaranteed. I think he used Plasma from Field as well, that's why it's gone banished, yeah. Mm, okay. So our 12th material, just in case. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, and now then it's going to be a 6100 uh, attack monster, I believe. So that attacks the Camellia. And the yeah, 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 that's <laughs> enough. I mean, 20,000 attacks, they're going to be there. And uh, Joseph, uh, wow. Obviously, we're in a format where you have to have concrete plans going first and second. Uh, we are playing Rivalry of Warlords, of course, which is an incredibly powerful card going first. But going second, we've got some format staples like Droll and Lockbird. Funny stuff when you are able to rip an opponent's card out of their hand with Dark Law and then put them under Droll and Lockbird for the remainder of the turn. And finally, when you have a card like uh, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer that can take over the game especially easily, cards like Anti-Spell Fragrance, which dead individual cards in your opponent's hand, are at a premium. Now that the Lotus Resolves makes sense, at the beginning of the turn it's arguable. But mm -hmm. now it's where you flip the Anti-Spell. Yeah. Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So even though you were feeling quite confident and you had the momentum, were you feeling nervous about the risks with the life points at all? Horrified. Um, I don't think there was a line to the lethal that third game. I'm sure someone on the internet will correct me. Um, in game three, Hero really is a transformative deck. It turns into rivalry and anti-spell and a whole host of powerful cards that are great going first and much better with Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. They'll never get any of the quick play spells off to the races if you keep popping them before they're online. And here's the thing, even in a slow game, where you'd have to set and then activate next turn, when you combine it with a card like Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, yeah. it can pop the cards that you set that you're trying to wait for. It's checkmate, essentially. If there was a deck that you had to pick that you wished that you couldn't 
duel against this weekend. If you had to absolutely avoid it at all costs, who would it be? Ugh, well, I hate to say this, but it's Labyrinth. Um, and sprite builds that are playing very close to the ground are an issue for me as well. But everything else I feel confident against. Draws for turn, and it really is just a case of going to the battle and sealing this. Do we have anything to contend Ooh. with? Oh, Stratos Pop! Stratos Pop. <laughs> there, it <Yeah>. <laughs> there it is! There it is. Stratos for game. Stratos for game. Well, thank you so much. That was extremely insightful for a absolutely amazingly fan favorite deck, Heroes. And you are here as the emissary of Heroes this weekend to try to take it as far as you can possibly go. So thank you everyone for joining us for the coverage of YCS London 2023. There's been a, a, a Joseph Rothschild special deck profile. We'll be back in just a moment with some more Yu-Gi-Oh action.